السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو انادر کمپیوٹر سائنس لیکچر اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے نیو سیکشن دیٹ از سیکشن نمبر سکس آٹومیٹڈ اینڈ ایمرجنگ ٹیکنالوجیز دیٹ از اے پارٹ آف سی اے آئیز اور کیمرے جو لیولس کمپیوٹر سائنس سلیبس ٹو ٹو ون زیرو سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ Now uh, we have section 6.1 or subsection 6.1 automated systems. Automated system is a system or machines. It can be a combination of both hardware and software which carry out a job that would, uh, that would otherwise have been done by humans. So any system that is built in order to replace some human activity or in order to automate a process that is otherwise done manually is known as an automated system. It is however monitored by humans or managers or supervisors or whatever you want to or operators even. Uh, in fact less than an operator and more of an observers for precision and error free operations because these systems cannot make their own decisions. So some humans some overseers some observers has to be there in order to make sure that they work without errors the three important components of an automated systems are sensors a microprocessor and actuators when all three of these work together then automatic instructions become movement and these movements may be repeated infinitely depending on the objective of the automated system means depending on whatever task the automated system was being built for if it is built for packaging um, processed goods in a factory then it would just keep on doing so automated uh, systems exist in many industries and situations for example automated systems are used in gaming by the use of ai opponents are generated in games so they are also known as bots so that a player can play against them they are used in weather reports or weather systems airports weather monitoring systems uh, utilizes automated systems in order to generate uh, threats for the flights in agriculture automated systems are used to harvest crops in lighting systems or home control systems they are used to automatically turn lights on and off uh, based on presence of a uh, human in science uh, they are used for laboratory automation where experiments can be done for several hours or days or weeks without any human intervention in industries their most common application is in packaging department these are some of the scenarios and advantages and disadvantages in each of the scenario in industry the advantage is that production is much faster and the number of errors are reduced whereas disadvantage basically <coughs> the main disadvantage of using an automated system no matter what the field is is that actual human labor or actual human workers they lose their job so job loss is the most reoccurring and most prominent of the disadvantages no matter in which field you are applying the automated system in transport uh, we have driverless cars or self driving cars uh, their advantage is that uh, a huge reduction in traffic accidents and traffic jams where uh, or traffic congestions whereas disadvantages are that uh, potential for <coughs> more vehicles on the road if the technology is popular as well as there might even be cars driving at th to their destination with dead passengers plus the fact that automated systems uh, whether they are cars or whether they are industry based they are they always have a very high initial cost then in agriculture they have faster collection of goods or faster harvesting of a field and they are able to cover a large distance in a short amount of time but they are very expensive and again they would uh, cause local farmers or local field workers farm workers to lose their jobs in uh, weather stations information about 
weather condition is fed con constantly to air traffic controllers and uh, the downside is that predictions can sometimes be incorrect in gaming the depth of gaming challenge is increased when computer generated opponents or bots are introduced whereas uh, it decreases real social interactions with other humans and can create a fictional life in lighting systems or home control systems they can be taught to react to environmental factors such as switching lights on and off when the conditions are correct such as when it gets dark then the lights of your porch can be turned on automatically but the, the downside is the system can become too complex as they are different from t traditional switches and they also tend to be very expensive in sciences you can have more iterations or more repetitions of experiments and reading of data can take place then um, and more readings of data can take place that as compared to when a human lab assistant is performing the experiment the downside is if something goes wrong with the experiment it may take several hours or days before it is discovered which can ruin your results and so this ends our section 6.1 automated systems uh, this is enough knowledge for you to have for answering questions regarding this uh, section plus you may see questions uh, similar to those of uh, section 3.2.3 uh, uh, monitor and control systems as automated systems are you can see a type of or an elaborate extension of monitoring and control systems as well so you might be seeing microprocessor and sensor based questions in this par uh, part as well means in actual exam when you get a question from automated systems they may be closely linked with those from the uh, monitoring and control system so i hope you have understood the concept of automated systems if you have any problems feel free to ask me take care allah hafiz